This is always a deterministic PDA machine. Okay? Now, A to the power N, B to the power N, no relation between A and A. So, this is a regular problem. No relation between A to the power N, B to the power 2N. So, for each A, for 2B, I can pop 1A. So, this is again a deterministic pusher automata. So, this is how to deter from the string, how to understand which language it can be. Because there is a relation A and 2 n so it must be a deterministic context free grammar or deterministic pusher automata. A to the power n, B to the power n, A greater than n. I have to always check whether A is greater than n. So I need a pushed on. A to the power n, B to the power n, C to the power n, B to the power n. Again, a, I can compare this and this, this and this. Deterministic pushed on. Coming to this, this is a formula. If anything you can describe in a formula, which language it is? It is a Turing decidable. So it is a time zero. Any any formula, if you can manage it, any formula, any that means any algorithm. If you can find in any algorithm, that is a time zero Turing decidable language. But we cannot write this language in a program because Parsing complexity is undecidable or incomplete. So we will not design that parsing. Now see a to the power n, b to the power n, c to the power 2a. This is a context sensitive graph. Complexity is incomplete. a to the power n, b to the power n, c to the power n. This portion regular and this portion is determined. So it is a type 2 grammar. This is type 1. So all regular grammar, regular grammar comes here and regular grammar should be given. This is the parsing lexical analyzer and this is called phase and another two terms will got phase and pass. What is the difference between phase and pass? One is phase. Phase. These are the phases and another is pass. Pass. In compiler, generally we have 2.5 pass or 2.5 to 3 pass. 2 to 3 pass. And phase is this. This is phase. Let's see the syntax, semantics, iteration, punctuation, then comes the phase for synthesis. That is the regular grammar. Type 3 is only useful for variable naming in, the, in your programming language. Regular grammar is only useful for variable naming because it supports this A star deterministic pusher automata and there will be this grammar. But not all this grammar, deterministic context free grammar, cannot be parsed easily. Only very subset that is LL1 parsing that can be done O N and I have yesterday last last yesterday's class I have told how to detect a LL1 grammar. If any grammar rule, if any grammar rule like this kind of grammar rule, S to A S A S to A or S to S to A S C because you have any rule that starts with the same terminal that is not fit case for LL1. Why? Basic logic of LL1 grammar by looking at the left to right by single terminal I can pinpoint which rule. So every rule of the grammar, the first terminal of the, of the rule should be different. You cannot have two different rules for the same table from left to right. That is one of the severe restrictions of LL1 grammar. And another is if you have a rule S to alpha 1, this is strange. Alpha to alpha 3, then you have to calculate first of alpha 1, first of alpha 2, which are the terminal it can begin with alpha. Last class we have done. 
Thank you very much. 